So I guess for the next thing then, what should we cover? I'll let you choose since I uh, screwed it up last time. All right, well, see, now you've kind of scuffed me because I do, obviously, being the ordered soul that I am, I definitely want to go in a linear fashion, which leads us with Grimoire of the Shadowlands next. Let's go. Fuck it, yeah, let's go. Let's go. Do, fact, what, I your, think. do what your first instinct says at all times. Never go wrong. Yep, and my instinct says, I'm going to need a, another beer for this. Okay, well, uh, get me one too while you're at it. And I will uh, tease them with a little bit of the hints to go forward. All right, do you want to talk about anything cool? Now that it's gone, just say anything interesting. Do you want me to, I don't know. <coughs> I have no idea. I have no idea what I could even, what I could do that would be reasonable, but also upset him. So I'll have to find out. Oh, he's back already. We didn't even have any time for fun. God damn it. What have I told you? That yep. I actually selected this beer specifically for this segment. Did you? This I don't believe the you. the Machinations of Illusion. No, it's not. It's Mechanics, mechanics of, illusion. of Illusion. Whoops. Mechanics of Illusion. So, time to get into the mechanics. Nothing's real. Warcraft Universe. I was so sure you were going downstairs, and I was preparing a whole big bit with everyone, but... Didn't even have time for the stream oh, delay to make oh fun man. of you. What? For a second, I thought you were going to open a can with a bottle opener. I was See, so confused. I don't have nails. I don't have nails. I do it. Yeah, no, sorry. He's got no nails. Yeah. Oh, you just got to do it with the flesh. Wow. Yeah, no, I am big Chad. I could do it, just never. Anyway. All right, the Grimoire, Grimoire of the Shadowlands and Beyond by Sean Copeland and Steve Danuser. All right, well, you know what? Here it is, the big new World of Warcraft book that is, um, I guess, available sort of somewhere, but really nowhere because ours is going to come out like in a few... Uh, August, I think. August, Late, so. late August, yeah. Yeah, it's a bit odd that it's kind of spilled out like this, and quite unfortunate because I would have liked my first experience of this to be, you know, having the book. This certainly is a grim war. Nice one. So, funny. we have a, a number of things. If I just click the table of contents here on our big page, we've got Yuzera, oh, we've got Night Owl's Wisps, we've got the Mortal conceptualization, conceptualization of Death, we've got the Archon, Forsworn First Ones, Refined Cosmology, and uh, comparing the cosmology side by side from this fun selection of this book. Good job, Dakar. Yeah, yeah, thanks for putting this one together. So, so should we kick it off with Yuzera? First of all, let's take a look at... There, there they are. There they are. They're the sigil owners. Oh, the sigil owners! It's actually not. They don't have their sigils anymore. What are we going to do? Of the premise. Oh yeah. Re. Oh well. All right. Let's oh, go. Look! Look! It's bad guy, useless, whatever Winter Queen does, and other bad guy that we just sort of killed. Sweet. Yeah. Good note to start this on, I suppose. <laughs> All right. So, Yazara, let's go. Um, could you actually maximize it up there? Because it's kind of, I lit, yeah, I could, I could barely. Yo, Yzara speaks of Coralstras, whom I loved dearly, but I love none more than her. She gave me a gift when we first became aspects. Take it with you and save your friend and champion. Please tell my sisters that she is sorely missed, fondly remembered, and deeply loved. And now we move into the full article about Yzara. Once more, the recurring importance of Azeroth echoes in this grimoire. For I have learnt that one of these green dragons had developed such a strong connection to the Great Cycle that its soul was drawn to Ardenweald upon the conclusion of its mortal life. According to the marginally helpful Fey, and in between their numerous distractions, the soul of this great dragon, a leader of her scaled kind, known as Yuzera, was nearly lost entirely as the anima drought decimated the realm. According to one of the fairies' enthusiastically theatrical uh, retellings, Yuzera's soul would have faded from existence were it not for the concerted efforts of the Maw Walkers and the Night Fae, as well as the direct intervention of the Winter Queen. Yuzera's salvation came at a dire cost, for both the green dragon and the eternal one. For the Winter Queen, a sacrifice of her own essence, her very being, was required to save Yuzera's soul from oblivion. This bears repeating. 
The Winter Queen gave a portion of her existence to save this Yazera. Not merely some resource that could one day be replenished, but a personal measure from her own finite well. It underscores again how important those born of the world of Azeroth truly are. And for Yazera, the price was that this child of Azeroth was now bound forevermore in, or to, Ardenweald. And she would therefore share in whatever fate might yet befall its twilight forests. Whether she will ever be free to depart its tranquil bros, bows, 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 tran- yeah. tranquil tranquil bows. bows remains unclear to me and to her as well, it seems. Combined, of course, with some truly lovely art. Cool story, bro. <laughs> I don't think that's what they were shooting for. <laughs> uh, so this I don't think they were either, but... Tell so what's interesting here, right? Great cycle. Mm-hmm. All this great cycle stuff. We'll get onto that with the cosmology chart. Basically, the new cosmology chart places Azeroth at the center of a great cycle, which makes a lot of sense considering how extremely important Azeroth seems to be. And maybe the Titans didn't really recognize that because they just thought Azeroth was the biggest of their kin. But maybe Azeroth's like something more. Hard to say. Well, what's interesting here is just that Yazera is... It's like that it wasn't a given that she would go. You know, it's like she was so bound to the cycle. Um, so I think that's quite yeah, interesting. Yeah, it's very and also considering, I guess, I guess it means she was fundamentally became, like she was so tied to the dream, she became a wild god from her essence of the as- essence of life stuff. She from kind of, like literally became a light. Not light, sorry, life. Like, I mean... That cosmologically speaking, yeah, she yeah she became she became as as a wild god, so she was bound to that cycle. Like, uh, well, it ties to all, it ties to that fractal stuff in my head, where you know there's like the relationships between the cosmic forces, you know, life yeah. void, life death, and yeah. I think you see characters like Yzera and probably Elun who have kind of got yeah. a foot in both. Yeah, um, you know, as as we see here, being of life in this area of death. With the Winter Queen. The Winter Queen, of course, who actually we now know it wasn't just, you know, it's not like the Winter Queen can munch down some tasty anima cookies and get that stuff back. Yeah. So this is this is like a, a new little angle. It, it underscores how big the Winter Queen sacrifice was. And that basically means um, that really it doubles down on the relationship between the Winter Queen and Elun. Because Yzera is, as Winter Queen, yeah. you know, once dismissively said, Elune's pet, or, you know, sister's pet. Um... Whereas now the Winter Queen's worked through that and decided to do that really large sacrifice. So just knowing the magnitude of that sacrifice, I think, is important. And then also for Yazera herself, you know, the Winter Queen loses in that, uh, you know, she loses some of her essence. But for Yazera, well, she's now bound forevermore to Ardenweald. Doesn't know what's going to happen. Whether she'll be free to depart or not remains unclear. So they kind of say, bound Ardenweald forever. Will she be able to leave? We don't know. So I guess this is going to be an ongoing plot point. Or, if I'm allowed to be cynical for a brief period of time, a contrivance for why she can't come back. Uh, I mean, I can see how it <laughs> yeah. makes sense. Like, you go to the bit of death, and it's like you can't come back. Yeah. You know, in a way. Um, so, yeah, that's what's going on with Yuzera. I think it's just yeah. them making it clear how important Yuzera is, how important the Winter Queen is, how important the Winter Queen sacrifice is, and then yeah. using that to talk up a little bit about the relationship between Yazera and Elune, who is her sister. Hmm. Well, you know, sister, whatever that actually means, considering I don't know if they're sort of born the way that we are. <laughs> Almost yeah. certainly not. I would really hope so. 